Hi guys, welcome back to Corker TV. In this episode, we'll be going to visit Will Devlin, owner and head chef of the small holding in Kent, recently awarded Kent Restaurant and Kent Chef of the Year. Let's go and see what Will's up to. So my name's Will, uh, I run the small holding in Kilndown. We opened about a year ago, we just had our first birthday. I've uh, been cooking around Kent for about 10 years now. Um, and we had this idea going back about three or four years, me and my brother Matt wanted to kind of open an, a restaurant that had a little bit more connection with nature, a little bit more connection with food and produce and how things were grown and, uh, and, and also kind of concentrating the seasons into like a one set menu rather than kind of being a one stop shop for everything. You know, we've, we make what's available to us at the time from uh, the, the game shoots in the, the, the county to the coast and the seafood to all of the wild food in the, in, in the woods and all of the stuff that we grow here as well in the small holdings. The name The Small Holding came from us, basically we're a bit bigger than an allotment but not quite as big as a farm, you know, we're in that in between. But uh, So it's not only just growing our own fruit and vegetables, we've also got our livestock, so we've got pigs and ducks and chickens, so that's where it becomes not just uh, sort of uh, agricultural farming, it's got livestock husbandry in there as well. But uh, the ethos behind it is to, to get back in, in touch with what we're growing and really growing for flavour, whereas a lot of things that are grown uh, looked after from seed right up until it's hit the plate. Um, by us as well, the chefs getting involved with the farming, understanding what goes behind, like all of the work that goes into food before it gets to the chefs. Chefs are given far too much credit, I reckon. You know, we're just the people that you see, but that crop's been tended to every day, twice a day, it's been nurtured, it's been looked after, it's been pruned, it's been then harvested with love, and then the last 5% of it, it gets cooked. So it's, all we do is make things not raw, you know, the, the real, emphasis should be in, uh, in the farm, in the soil, and in kind of what you're growing at what sort of time. Working with Corco was simple really. Uh, Travis Perkins was shut, uh, and so I had no other option. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, work, seriously, working with Corco, the, the boys down there are super excited. They're, they're, what we like to do is work with passionate people in their own area, right? So being able to go down and sort of put my idea into their uh, hands and they can direct us in the, the right way of what will work best for our outdoor space um, because I know what I want to sort of get to uh, but we absolutely had no understanding of what we should be doing at, at what sort of places so that's where Cork would come in super handy of just sort of asking what the ideal goal is and then sort of getting your steps to, to how to achieve it really. Everything you see outside is, is from Cork so all of our decking, all of our balustrade, our, our umbrellas, um, really just basically creating what was a bit of a dead space, uh, actually into a beautiful place to come and enjoy the view and, uh, and on a summer's day there's nowhere better to sit probably. Um, so plans for this year is just to, to really escalate and do the bits that we didn't get time to do last year. So um, we've got a great space here, we, we started our farm and forage events uh, so you can kind of get a bit of behind the scenes from here the small holding every Wednesday, Thursday morning come in, grab a coffee, pastry and I kind of talk you through how we set up the restaurant, then into the farm, uh, feeding the pigs, getting the eggs and the chickens and working about what's being harvested from the farm uh, that day and then down to the hedgerows. You can see us at Corker uh, Outdoor Living, uh, second birthday on the 6th of May. I'm going to be cooking on their bespoke outdoor uh, kitchen that they've just started this year and they're going to be supplying throughout the year, uh, showing off uh, some bits from our farm uh, and what you can get up to on, on one of the outdoor kitchens. Hopefully we'll have some of our lambs ready by then. Uh, so we want to do something super light, uh, salads and vegetables from the farm, probably with a little barbecued uh, leg of lamb, uh, finished with a little uh, mint and rosemary. Say so wave. Bye. Bye. So that's episode two wrapped up. We hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to catch Will here on our second birthday party, Monday, bank holiday, 6th of May. He'll be doing his thing on a brand new outdoor kitchen display. So come and see what he's about. We've got 10% off on the day only off absolutely everything. So we hope to see you guys then. See you then. <laughs>